All right, thank you for tuning in to Stampscaping 101. This one's going to be a really fast one here. Uh, fast because I've sped up the video, but it's also a super easy to do, and I think pretty dramatic type of card here. All right, this is a half page, you know, kind of lengthwise um, piece of aquamarine Star Dream paper, Star Dream's qualities. Uh, or the entire Star Dream line is one of those iridescent types of uh, papers. It's not, I don't know, I mean, they call it metallic. It falls under that uh, category, but it's more of that shimmery type. And when you get into the colors, it's, I don't know, I don't see it as really metallic looking. It's more of that kind of mica shimmery type of look. But I love that type of surface, and aquamarine has always been one of my favorite colors. Um, in that line. Uh, not all of them kind of are the same in terms of how they react to dye-based ink like I'm applying right here, like the true metallic ones, the, the gold and silver work a little bit different than this aquamarine. But that being said, what I'm doing here is I'm applying some dye-based ink in this kind of swooshy kind of uh, motion here. It gives it a little bit of an S-curve. And what I'm trying to do is um, depict um, kind of a sense of wind and movement through this piece, okay? Now the Star Dream um, surfaces with that um, whatever they have in the chemistry of this um, paper, it's not just on the surface here, it's 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 throughout the entire pulp of the paper, I, I'm guessing, okay? But it kind of, it, it's sealed off a little bit, so it kind of resists the ink in a little bit, okay? So I don't get a true kind of real flat impression or transfer of ink um, in that type of uh, motion I was doing. Now here, I'm making my impressions of the Pines and Rock stamp in a stays-on ink, and I wanted to see what that stays-on ink would look like. Normally in the past, I've used dye-based inks to give my impressions here. Here, I gave a second impression, which is a lighter impression, to see if I can create some depth in there. And there we're going to uh, couple it with the um, half-page piece of silver foil to give it that mirrored look like that, okay? Now, down below on the silver side, I'm doing some uh, stays-on. Uh, if you don't know what stays-on is, it's a solvent-based um, ink that can pretty much stamp on just about anything. Papers... I don't know, non-porous surfaces like this foil here, even something like glass or metal you can uh, use it on. I, I, I kind of liken it to something like a, a Sharpie pen, like a permanent marker type of um, ink, except in pad form instead of a uh, marker form. So that will dry on that surface just um, very easily, okay? Okay, now that, going back to the Star Dream, this is a splatter-painted application of the Dr. Martin's Bleed Proof White, which is a very opaque white watercolor paint. And here I'm giving it a pretty good slathering in terms of the um, splatter-painted style of application. I wanted it to look like a snow flurry going on in the background. Uh, normally I use it for snowfall, um, stars, or something like that, but this one I really wanted some variation in terms of that um, splattering. So you see some big, huge kind of beads of paint splattered down on the surface like that to kind of, you know, reinforce that idea of this, oh, you know, this whole idea of like a snow flurry. Okay, now I'm taking that same paint, but just on a small um, paintbrush here and applying it down on the surface right here. Um, that whole kind of you know, water-based or just ink in general resistance that this um, surface has is kind of making these applications of um, white paint kind of ball up and it kind of beads on the surface, I would say. Not completely, you know, as if we were doing it on like plastic or glass or something like that. Or, you know, even if I did that on the silver foil down there, it would beat up more than this. There's a little bit of pore, um, you know, porousness to the Star Dream, but not very much. So it kind of beads up. So you can do kind of a, you know, kind of a haphazard kind of application of this um, paint on this surface. But I just wanted to give those trees a little bit more of a kind of a frosted, you know, first snow type of uh, look to them 
And I like the texture, texturing of it. I get a little bit more kind of uh, bold with my applications of it. I go for a little bit of a thicker application. I haven't done this for a while, so um, I don't know. I got a little bit more comfortable adding it on as I went. Okay, I'm taking a look at it again, seeing how those reflections look down on the surface. And when I looked at it like that, I thought it looked okay, but you'll see what I do with that later on. Okay, some Star Dream white pigment ink here for the quote. I love quotes or word stamps on that mirrored surface because I think it looks like it's kind of floating on a, you know, water's surface when you do it like that, or it could be ice or something like that too. But when I took a look at this, it occurred to me that I maybe applied a little bit too much of that white um, paint and I wasn't getting as kind of a as strong a reflection in that mirrored surface down below. What do you do for that? All you have to do is stamp some more trees and we'll just do them in black here. And what I found out was I thought it gave it even more depth by having that on there. Okay, now I'm not trying to stamp it directly over where I've stamped other trees. I'm doing it off center. So it just looks like another row of trees. And to do that, I'm just stamping it a little bit lower. And like I said, off kind of center from the previous impressions. Okay, so you see those darker impressions like that going right over that Dr. Mertz bleed roof white applied trees. Okay, so you see that darker scene? So you see that the trees down there up top and also in the reflections look a little bit more, I don't know, kind of dimensional and uh, I don't know, just, just more depth within the trees by having some darker trees. So I don't know, kind of having them lighter um, kind of enhance the scene by me kind of having to compensate for that uh, by stamping them darker. So it worked out really nicely. And there you have that. And then I, well, I was looking at the whole scene and I thought, eh, we need a little bit of a focal point. So instead of that uh, surface, you know, kind of representing ice, I'm stamping this little fisherman down here, the uh, canoe and fly line stamp. And there we have it. It's like a little fisherman down on that water surface. And that is the scene and card. This is a sped up version, but this card can go very quickly. Uh, as there's not a whole lot of technique to it. It's very easy techniques and very easy to apply, but I think um, you get a pretty dramatic result from it. Okay, that's Star Dream over Silver Foil. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.